This dragonfly almost rarely lands. It's called the black saddlebags. Uh, called the saddlebags because that little patterning on the back two wings looks kind of like a saddle. Uh, it's also mostly black in coloration. Some other ones like red and Carolina saddlebags have like a reddish brown coloration. So black saddlebags is the darkest of the ones that we get here in Florida. I just flipped this piece of wood over and uh, surprised by some subterranean termites. A bunch of subterranean termites underneath this piece of wood, as well as an earthworm. What an interesting little find. Right, this little yellowish colored dragonfly right here is a female little blue dragonlet. One of the smallest dragonfly species we get here in Florida. Uh, males of this species are all blue, actually. Uh, the wings are clear, but mostly like that blue color. Uh, the females are tiny and like this yellowish color with some black. This little guy right here is a one of the few red species of bee we get here in Florida. It's a pretty hard species to find, but at the same time, it's actually a pretty simple one to find. Uh, you don't see them too often, but when you see them, you know what that what you have because it's one of the very few bright red colored bees here. This little dragonfly right here almost never lands. They they fly for so long. I've actually never seen one not flying before until now. This is called the hyacinth glider. <laughs> Fitting name. Uh, Best way to identify this species is that kind of orangish, yellowish orange tail, but heavily contrasts with the dark brown body. This is a pearl crescent. It's a very similar butterfly to the Fayon crescent, but it's got more of an orange tone to it. It's a lot brighter orange. If you look on the underwings, it's got more of an orange tinge to the underwings as well. They're very similar though. Fayon has more white. It's a bit more dull orange, not as bright. When this grasshopper first uh, jumped by me, I thought it was a baby, but if you look at it, it actually has full wings and everything, and it's just a tiny little grasshopper. This butterfly right here is called the queen butterfly. It's actually a very close relative to the monarch. It's in the same genus, genus Danaus. So it's also a milkweed butterfly, so they lay their eggs, their larvae feed on milkweed plant. That is a tiger beetle, one of the actually fastest insects on, on legs in the world. These guys can crawl on the floor so fast. They're also an avid predator, so they'll eat lots of other smaller animals. When they do their beta. This is the closest I've ever been to a Palamedes swallowtail. Any little lizard right here with the blue tail and some stripes on it, that is a young uh, southeastern five line skink. Um, I actually haven't seen this species in a very long time. Alright, there is a little frog on that lily pad right there. That is a cricket frog. Uh, probably a southern cricket frog. Uh, on that, on that uh, lily pad. This is actually my first time ever seeing this species. And it's not a green morph, it's actually a brown morph. Uh, usually these guys have some green striping on the back, but where you would normally have the green striping on the back, it's actually a lighter uh, tinge of the brown on its back, which is a pretty interesting color for this species.